I'm Dr. Casey Bill Posler. Together with my colleagues, Drs. Heather Helms and Arthur Anastopoulos, I recently published an article in Family Process titled Examining the Linkages Between Marital Quality and Anxiety, a Meta-Analytic Review. In this work, we examine the associations between marital quality and anxiety using meta-analytic techniques. Aligned with our hypotheses, we found that better overall marital quality was associated with less anxiety. Post hoc analyses also showed that individual marital quality indicators were all associated with anxiety as well. For example, positive marital behaviors such as closeness and emotional support were associated with lower anxiety, whereas negative marital behaviors such as criticism and conflict were associated with higher anxiety. These associations were significant for both cross-sectional and longitudinal effects. Among the longitudinal effects, we aimed to examine whether anxiety better predicted later marital quality or if marital quality better predicted later anxiety. The association from marital quality to anxiety was significant, whereas the association from anxiety to marital quality was not. There were, however, very few effects that examined if anxiety impacted later marital quality and the difference was not statistically significant. Future research should continue to examine these relationships to better understand causal relationships between these factors and any nuances in these findings. Additionally, gender moderated the association between marital quality and anxiety such that husband's anxiety was more strongly related to both husband's and wife's marital quality, although associations were significant across the board for husbands and wives. Finally, these associations remain significant even among effects that controlled for other factors such as depression. This is noteworthy because anxiety is often comorbid with depression and other mental health factors. So it's helpful to know that anxiety is associated with marital outcomes above and beyond the association of other mental health factors. We believe that the comprehensive statistical synthesis of previous research across the first 20 years of the 21st century, spanning from the years 2000 through 2019 presented in our study, can be used to help inform future research and improve therapeutic interventions for both marital distress and anxiety. For example, this information can be used to educate couples and practitioners about the connections between marital quality and anxiety. And by increasing education about these connections, we can enable practitioners to better support couples through these challenges. Knowledgeable practitioners may be better prepared to recognize and assess for the presence of anxiety in cases of marital distress. Similarly, practitioners can assess for the risk of marital problems when treating individuals or couples presenting with anxiety. This knowledge may also help encourage the use of more targeted and holistic treatments. For example, researchers and therapists have previously suggested that treating anxiety and marital distress concurrently can lead to better outcomes for the marriage and mental health of both spouses. But despite this, anxiety is typically treated at the individual level. Understanding how anxiety impacts daily life functioning, including relationships, can lead to better supportive treatment options that address difficulties in both areas. More information about our study, including a summary of previous work, theoretical frameworks, our methods, findings, and potential implications can be learned by downloading and reading our article with Family Process. We hope that this short video sparked your interest in our work and that you enjoy this article and find it to be useful. Thanks for watching!